From after Adam the fear for the head, she will be there. Now that's your west side. This morning, it's a very good morning. We have a little bit of a hit as a colonial one of the twenty each in the chair. To the Swan Road! Let the sail out! Bring the mast down! Mast up! What are you doing? Come and raise the sail over!
Hold on. I think it is time I take my leave. did it but it just like didn't complete well and a bunch of stuff so that works out. Hey Lord, hey Lord. Let's hear a story. Some years ago, I took to sea with a sword dancer called Aeid. A brooding warrior with a face of stone and oak-hard arms. On a raid in Korla, we shored up along the edge of a forest and explored until we came to people parts. A large farm. It was night and all were asleep. So we set Drop about the mass. running the place, quiet of me, taking sheep and goats as we pleased. It was then that Eil saw a farmhand and pressed the boy for the family's hidden silver. The farmhand the squawked it like a crow. Him. Being hid beneath an anvil at the smith's forge, the silver was no trouble to lift. In secret, we took it and the boy back to the ship. It was then that Eil grew sad, for when the farmers woke with the crack of day, they would know they had been robbed, but not by whom. So Eil ordered three of us to follow him back to the sleep-hushed hamlet. As we burnt the houses, Eil shouted his name. I am Eil, son of Skatlagrim, and I am the man who deprives you of everything but your life. I never sailed with Eil again. Sing us a song. We will pick up from there. Best not to draw attention here. Pretty sure we raided that spot, yeah. I did. Sail down! You speedy hare. No entry to you past this point without a password to anoint. What is this place? A 
A den for those who answer the call of a slick and slippery midnight brawl. To compete, a phrase that must be spoken, but it seems you don't yet have this token. Worry not, young pup, and look around. If memory serves, there's a clue to be found. Up and I think I heard right. Naked fists and wall-eyed lips. This, this is the phrase that must be spoken to gain entry to the BBB. BBB. Naked fists and wall-eyed lips. <laughs> Entry to you past this point without a password to anoint. Naked fists and wall eyed lisps. Ah, keen eye and clever nose. You'll need them both to keep on your toes. Enter, enter, take your shot. But careful, don't get beat to snot. Are you ready? Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. Let's see if you don't take a fall against the one they call the Wall. Edward of Lincoln. you rub bodies was an absolute treat. You moved just like a noodle. My favorite thing to eat. It would please me to no end to watch you fight again. So whenever, now or then, return promptly to my den. I love it here, rolling around with these lads makes me feel right at home, a good sense of belonging, companionship. Do we beat each other until our heads ring? Yes. Do I now have less teeth and fingers? Also yes. But each roll, sweaty and agonizing as it may be, always ends with kindness. A hug, a pound on the back, a headbutt, there is nowhere else I would rather be. I see people right. Again, mm? ready for more. Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. There may be shared blood in your veins against this rapid firing Dane, Baller of Kent. Let's go. 
That was weird. Like, I, like I did like some kind of like weird thing where I had a bunch of them stacked here and I could assassinate them. Ah, back again. Mm? Ready for more? Ready. Splendid. And now for your opponent. I think it's time your head got stung. For none remain but the silver tongue. One on one, you'll fight with me. Champion of the BBB! Jesus. Cheater. <laughs> in such a fight you wallop me with all your might hey, it man, seems to me down. you've proven to be champion of the BBB I am honored I think go on now carry our name with only pride and never shame remember how it was you came to be blessed with so much fame farewell Show me. This is actually outside of this territory. So I'm actually gonna take these back.
chest it out. I don't know if I need to do wield two heavy weapons or just like a heavy weapon in one hand and I can have something else in the other hand. Be nice to know. They are, but I didn't call them. That's kind of weird. It's a bit strange. I guess I got attacked close enough to the water that it prompted them to. Actually, it's not that close. That's kind of strange. That is kind of weird that they would do that. Go with the fact that maybe this is about to be the only sign. 
Yeah, these things are staying white, so I think. a new threshold to take care, for it is difficult to know what foes lie in wait beyond. I forget that part as well. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. I'll tell all my friends of this fortune. I thought you were a cheat, a swindler, but you were right. Lord, light your way. Elixir and greeting a bear bollocks. I escaped with my life, but left behind my pride. I would rather not record how I managed to acquire these bear bollocks. If this elixir fails, it will mark the end of this endeavor. Hang. Angering a den full of beasts who would happily dine on my entrails is not something I will attempt again. Someone was hunting bears. I forget if the blue roundheads... There's red, yellow, and there's blue. Do the blue roundheads cause poison damage? I forget. <laughs> What has spurred his little heart? Ah, my soon-to-be-highly-coveted elixir. You see, one gulp puts you to sleep, and when you wake up, you are suddenly richer. <laughs> I've not heard this ruse before. It sounds like one I know, and I cannot explain how it works, but it does. Take that gentleman's elation as proof. He and many others have returned to me, all with different tales to tell, but all wealthier in the end. All right. Give me the elixir. I don't have any on hand. To brew this elixir involves great risk. You must be certain you are up for the challenge. Won't know until I hear it. Very well. There are two crucial ingredients you must bring me. Bear testicles and fresh lichen. Where can I find these ingredients? There's a den just west of here where the bears have taken a liking to winter chanterelle. As for the lichen, you can find some growing in the well outside. Be careful. Hmm. Not yet sure what the opals are for, but I hear something out. Looks like ingredient lichen. I discovered some particular looking lichens on my walk the other day. Even more of note was their nutty aroma, perhaps due to the shade imposed by the old well they grow in. I picked a few and kept them in water instead of drying them out. They should increase their potency. This should increase their potency. Alright, well let's find out. I'm gonna eat the blue. No, I don't I forget what the blue ones do. Yeah, the blue ones are the ones that do damage. Oh. 
Should need those. Elixir. Where can I find these ingredients? There's a den just west of here where the bears have taken a liking right to winter chanterelle. As for the lichen, you can find some growing in the well outside. Be careful. Here's what I needed from the bear. Here, I've brought what you asked for. Very good. Let me get to work. I will have the elixir ready shortly. There we have it. One elixir of miraculous wealth. Enjoy. Cursed alchemist. Looks as though this one took the elixir as well. Ended up here, but could not get out. I should return to the alchemist. See if he knows what happened. It worked like clever bastard. I know not where I am, nor how I got here. What I do know is that I am in my possession of a treasure that is 
I should fetch a high price. Is this magic or sorcery? Does my unconscious mind root out treasures while under the effects of this incredible elixir? I must know more. I must wet my lips with another taste, but first I must find another way out of here. The path below water is too long for me to swim. So there's a path below water, possibly. Valuable ring. So, I didn't get dragged somewhere. I walked off somewhere. That's what it's trying to say. Let's see. Something in the water with me? That's weird. Wait, that's a new wealth by itself. I'm in a new region, aren't I? Yes, I am. Well, I do know one way out if I could just fast travel. <laughs> but that is interesting. Daily concept part. Pretty cool. Awesome. That's cool. Also cool. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's like I'm in a new region. I mean, this other place I could have gone for this, uh... For this campaign, um... Well, I don't want to leave just yet. I want to actually walk around a bit. I'm not sure what this thing is. I feel like it, but I heard like additional sounds. Thank <laughs> you. 
guys are doing some of these treasure map things. I need to do this. Where's this next mystery? It's nearby, I guess. It's there, so. Mongers. Why are you naked? Because my uncompromising lack of clothes brings me joy. Yet my very own sect of pious nudists tossed me aside. Nudists? Those who bear their skin for pleasure? Indeed, we, we bear our skin at all times, in the tradition of great Greeks and Romans. Yet some say I am too... enthusiastic. Nude in prayer, at meal times, at work, in the streets and alehouses, everywhere. For Jesus loves us best as we were born. But the group I founded has expelled me. Oh, if I could exact revenge, steal their clothes and render them nude forever, I would. Bring us on a snaddle! Huh. <laughs> so let me guess, he wants me to steal their clothes. <laughs> <laughs>
on the news. He has nothing to say. A fair Dane joins the ranks of the Liberated. Greetings, Dane. This is our private celebration of skin. We are open to all who strip. Would you join us? I met a man who claimed to have created this club. What happened to him? Oh, Winchell. Yes. He was a bit too, um, <clears throat> assertive for us. He was overly tempted by bare flesh, so we had to send him away. I would be honored to join your group. Where do I place my clothes so I can start dancing? Wonderful! A new member. Simply place your clothes in that crate hidden by the tent and partake in the liberation. Fresh, gorgeous beast of a soul joining us. Wait, so can I steal you guys' clothes now? Will you not say anything if I do that? Decree a against Mitchell. By decree the of many of nobles and Grandis Britshire and the hundred and the wind. Okay. There's the various things of this. Of a soul Pond. We no longer allow the presence of the usurper and criminal Winchell the usurper. He is forbidden from, from speaking or holding court in our waters for the nude and privately so. He should be removed by force from his rock. A nuisance to us all. Sign the Merry Nobles of Grand Ismishtire. Interesting. There is no love for Winchell. Oh, that's the crate where we put our clothes. Feel free to store yours in there too. Oh, that's the crate where we put our clothes. Feel free to store yours in there, too. Do I hide or I just take it? Oh, that's the crate where we put our clothes. Feel free to store yours in there, too. Just put your... Hey! Stop! So fast. Now you're nude forever, as Winchell wanted. Until they buy my clothes. But yeah. Now they will adhere to your principles. Yes! You have carried out my revenge. Wonderful! Now they must revel in their nudeness forever. If you like, I have a luminous text with my teachings. A breviary of why one must trust their body's exposed sinew. Enjoy! Be well, Winchell the chest free. Let's see if we got 
skill point wise. Traveler, what seek you? Perhaps I can help. Where is the matter of my fee? Um, I don't want to find no, thank you. Another okay. time, then. Yeah, I don't think I want to find anything. Why are there so many of them here? What's going on? You, alchemist, what happened to me after I drank that piss? How should I know? I told you, I cannot explain how it works. What I can say is the elixir hit you particularly hard. You stumbled out of here, then began sprinting across this forest as if you had a nose for something. Very feral. I was worried, but I'm glad to see you are all right. Your wealth has swelled, has it not? In a manner of speaking... I awoke in a cave beside a dead man clutching some treasure. Hmm. I've not heard that outcome before. One of your customers in the same pursuit, I think. Only he was not so lucky. Perhaps I should shelve this elixir for the time being. At least until I can better understand its effects. Good thinking. I uh, have four more mysteries in this region left. I don't think I've discovered for more. You know, 
that's another that's another region. That's another region. That's another region. So where is is this also another yeah, this is another region. Oops, sorry. Yeah, that's all another region. I am almost positive I got this. This thing I didn't, so That's another region. Hmm. Maybe more mysteries will pop up once I get to this point. Let's travel there. Any sign of jail belt? Keep an eye out.
Have you seen Tailbelt? No, but we caught sight of Leofi fleeing across the river. He was chasing someone. It has to be Tailbelt. He is the only prize worth taking in this mudsink. Lend my strength to your Zavor. Join your blade to mine. Let ring the sword song this day. He's in trouble. What? 
Back down, Leofrith. I will not. Don't make this hard. It has to be. Please! You do not want to do this. Leofrith! Let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Our silence deeds with this. Lay it by, Leofrith. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. You can't win this, Leofrid. Even if you defeat me, the Rachnesons have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I'm still standing. Ah. Slowing. Bah. You are strong-willed pain. Burgrid was lucky. How does it? To stand in the way of you and mercy is my duty. I will die before I yield. Finished. Not yet. Go on then. End it. No appeal to your god or your king. I swore an oath to serve Borgra to the death. I fought. I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable Thane fighting a dishonorable war. Burkrid abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrid, I would want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. Am I get to choose? Stand, Leofrid. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burkrid is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death? What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted, so close, it's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor, 
You have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now. You haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Where will you go now? Rome. Come on. Let's take you back. Careful, you're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden. Jailbird, this wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You are a boy no longer. Back there with Leofrith. I didn't think you'd spare him. There's no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth. And with that truth, he forges a new path. You were right about him, Tilbert. And right to believe the line that divides us can be thinner than it seems. Yeah, I've definitely been to this place before. Maybe that stuff was unlocked before the man was still Jailbird! Look at you! Bloody and battle worn! Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that! No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You're an Ottlinger now. Or Athling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. What happens now? Word of Burgred's deposition will spread quickly. The other kingdoms of England will soon enough know that Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Chaelbert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Aveling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the River Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair.
future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolf Kist, as a sign of friendship. I should you call. The brothers Rangnason will come. You honor me, Uber. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well, two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too, the brave little twig. That is good to hear. Did he just pick up trash off the ground. <laughs> Now then, Leofrid said there are hunters after me. Zealots. If I don't clear my name, I will be marked for death. I should head to Venonis. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news.
the statue the Senate's use. Mark Avor of the Raven Clan, Lutishashire. Smoke and ashes now. I should get those salads off my back. Huh, well that's something I could have like left up and alone or just So if I hadn't done that, was that time sensitive? How do you get into this place, though? They will attack on sight here. The other side must be barred. I would like to see what you have in stock. You have a keen eye for quality. You're looking powerful. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. May they sing of your deeds. Day. A new customer. You I do not recognize, my friend. What brings you to settle here? Are you merchants? Ah, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? 
Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. That's the opals. Oh, this is the weekly daily market thing. But I, I do not have enough opals for that. I have enough for that. I have 50 opals. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. Oh, I got another 50 right there. I will see you later, friend. So long! Nonsense! It is not that complicated! You do not appreciate the subtleties of a cutting flight. That is why you misunderstand. What is happening here? Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. That is not so, you thick-headed... <laughs> Eivor, care to judge a flighting? I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me. For inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. <clears throat> you see, flighting is simple. So hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. 
like writing sagas, painting pictures, and, uh, and, um, lore. Yes, lore. There. What do you think, Eivor? Alvis is the clear winner, Holger. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. You have no ear for these things. A pity. Thank you, Eivor, for packaging the natural order. Ah, glad to see you made it, Chilpat. Thanks to Sigurd, he was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Little Chestershire? The Alliance is one. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. I met him. Redder. A strange young man, but somehow charming. He will make for fine company, I think. I look forward to knowing him better. You have not been long in England, have you? I see by this map you have barely scratched Mercia. Give it time, little lord. Wessex untouched? Northumbria barren? You still have much to see. Yes. It is a work in progress. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. Hmm, I wonder why it allows me to take a 91. That's weird. London. Small, but yeah, 90 power. Tell me about Grandebritshire. A force of Danes, called a summer army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow. Rest assured, Eivor, the settlement is in safe hands.
While you were away, your Jomsvikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute they earned. I have to go. See you soon. Dice game is there. I have fallen. Take me, A Force. Our victories will order the gods themselves. Come, show me your valor in battle and earn your place at the great table. Can't raise the sail here. Let's have a song. More sail. And the order of the land dethroned. Plans endless, they go down. Stubborn monarchs have uncrowned, fiercely eyed and flaming pride. Merciless men are called to strive. With fire in heart, no warrior falls. Save it for later. Run up the sail! Shame. 
Loss has robbed reputation. Nay. No matter what our hero choose, I fear that there is none to lose. Award him life or incite the kill. His days are remain. That was a raid point back there, but there's... Well, I guess there was treasure there. Let's turn around. <laughs> Band of Leaders orders, you have you two have been at it again, haven't you? Feeding the corpses to the pigs, all because you hate the smell of burning bodies. That's because you aren't the ones cleaning up the shit. But you could be, so you might want to remember that the next time you feel like disobeying my orders. Bandits.
Can't raise the sail. Sail out! Sail out. Let the sail out! Take the mask down. Set the mast up! This wind would fill the sail! Run up the sail! Randvi mentioned this place, the last known location of the Summer Army.
Johnson. Go, Zulin. A friend, an ally. I'm looking for the summer army. <laughs> Camp leader is up top. You can't miss him. <laughs> Those Texans caught us without us. It's no way to die. That's true young behavior. Hail! What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. I have heard the name. You helped the sons of Ragnar overthrow the Mercian king. Well met. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of wattle and daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grandbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Suma Ayalskona. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. What about the city walls and your guards? The walls were unbreached, the guards unaware. It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Our Yalsko Masuma, she bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet.
here, but my ship is not on this side. The real question is, will they come for me? And I don't think they will. Ready! We must grow in these waters. Sing, my ravens! Lower the mass! Sing it! Mast up! Sing it! Sail! Catch the wind! We can continue Looks later. Like Ragnarok itself came for Grand Bridge. A great battle raged nearby. Hold course. We'll see what else lies within the fork. Good friend to me. Thank you. Is your yard's corner nearby? Not here. Shoma dragged the Saxons east from her longship to tire them out and lose them in the fog. Longship. Dane markings. This was a fine longship. Fit for a chief. It must belong to Soma.
fighting shape. Take him to the shelter for warmth. Slap some moss in that gash and wrap it well. Egil. Egil, look at me. Remember the boars you fell our first day in England. Hold his arms. Nine. Large. And fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. We have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you, looking for a friend and ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Grandbridge. Though it seems an Order of Lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients? Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grantbridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bena, Galin, Liv. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Where's this Wickmund? And what does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grantbridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grandbridge? The elder man Wigman seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city. But this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grandbridge. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. Burn long and hut, bright wolf of the branch, and guide Soma's gilded warriors home.
I know what you must think. What must I think? That it's foolish to search the Fenlands for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best. Vital to retake in the city. Do you think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder, and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week, I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people yet live, we'll find them. of Danes. Stretch your wings, Sulin. Free me! I'm no use here, not with the wind. Oh, 
Thank you. Thank you, Fred. If you would be so kind, I've had it quite the day. Look through the fog, Leaf. Follow the beacon. Our camp is at its base. We'll return when we've found the others. We'll head straight to the camp and see that everyone's shipshape when you return. Leaf is a prim and proper man, isn't he? He lives by a strict code of honor, more than most. And builds the best longships I've ever sailed. They're the reason we escaped Grant Bridge alive. He's not the strongest man, but he's wise and canny and hard to pin down, like a fish wriggling free of a net. There! Leaf's longboat. I recognize the hull. This poem is about Leaf. Did he write this about himself? is Birnas, I think. All scraped and bashed, it's hard to tell. Saxons, surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. Here's a poem about Birna. Survey the area, Sunan. That's right! Tire yourself out! Weak little chickens! Can't even open one barricaded door! You'll rot in hell when we're done with you! You'll suck my toes when I'm standing on your head! That's Birna, for sure. If my head was in a bucket of water, I'd still know. Someone sweeping the hearth outside? We handle it just fine. They can go starting a new town, in fact. This house being our first. Birna, I pitched a camp nearby, under a burning beacon. We'll meet you there when I've found the others. Thank you, Soma. And you as well, Sambin. We'll head to the camp now. I'll have everyone singing songs and dancing jigs by the time you get back. Vienna is like a grapevine, curly and hard to predict, while Leaf is like a wood beam, sturdy, straightforward. Birna has a genius for tactics, sees well ahead of things. Leaf deals with what's just there before him, practical in all ways. Both have helped me find my footing in desperate times. It's important to keep those who disagree with you close as family.
Must be careful. His shackles, wretched, carry and beat. I don't deserve this. Leave me. Run. Galen, you look terrible. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fog, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. Oh. But Freya was on my side, and I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am. And hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be well with the gods. We have a camp nearby, Galen. I'll take you there myself. Eivor, join us when you're ready. Thirty.